Okay. You guys. Yep, here we go. <laughs> I don't see it. And we're back. <laughs> Yay! It's not gonna show live on your screen, Chief, but um on that on Facebook. Yeah, I'm on Facebook right now. There's nothing there. It says live. Oh. We are. We I got a notification. I see it. There we go. Okay, so everybody who is watching, thank you for your patience. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Hello out there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we've had a good audience too. Um, everyone's returning. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Chuck. Thank you both for coming back. Sandy. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. The quality looks good. Yeah, it looks great. Okay. So, for we're on a new technology right now, you guys. We're on a different piece of technology, so um, we should not end again. You heard it here first. Yeah, we'll hold you to it. Hopefully, it doesn't end. All right. Okay. If you do, we'll just keep coming back. If no. not, I'm gonna owe you guys something. No. <laughs> we're gonna be persistent. Hey, so Chris, but uh. While, while we were off of live to all the audience, we were talking about Chris's beard, and he said he might shave it. And I said, well, if you do that, no one's gonna know who you are on stage. He said, oh, <laughs> I got a funny story. So here okay. he's gonna Okay, so, it. yeah, okay, so Mikey, do you wanna just tell it? You tell it. Yeah, yeah I can tell it. Yeah. So, because um, cause it, this happened. Yeah, so we were on tour, and this is before Chris was in the band, but he was, uh helping out with some stuff on stage and he had a big beard and he came on stage before we started to play and he was fixing some stuff and then I walked on stage we performed and then I walked off stage and this fan came up and kept saying how funny it was that I had put on a fake beard to walk on stage and fix stuff and she just kept she wouldn't believe us and Chris walked over and was like it's me. I'm standing right here. She's like, no, I know what I saw. Mike had a beard on. And Chris is like, it's me. It's a real beard. Uh, she wouldn't believe this. It was, just, it was so weird. Like, yeah. <laughs> but she was. But the fact that she was just like, no. I, I, yeah, you guys are trying to pull one over on me. I'm like, it's me. I'm the guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a few. Yeah, that was, a, that was three years ago or something like that. I thought it was funny. <laughs> the end of that. The end. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say the end. <laughs> so, you guys, thanks for joining us. And everybody who's watching, um, again, thank you. Uh, we should be set to keep streaming on this channel right now. Um, you guys go ahead and why don't you leave some comments for Islander in the comp, um, leave some love for them in the comments. And if you want to start your watch party, now would be a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I shared it. I shared it. Awesome. I shared it. Team effort. So, um, how you guys, let's just jump right in. How have you been holding up during the pandemic? Um, and how, how is this affecting your music? Um, I've been doing well. I honestly, you know, as, as much as this is just terrible and me and Chris, we personally, we had a, our aunt passed away in New York city due to the coronavirus. So that, that was really difficult because we couldn't have like funeral or anything we didn't we didn't know where the body was or anything so we had a memorial actually on zoom and um that that was really difficult but it also brought the family together in a way that we had never been together like through through facetime through zoom through all this kind of technology and um it felt good to know that even though we weren't there in person with each other everybody was still there and that's something i've been trying to encourage people to know you know even though you haven't seen all your friends or family maybe as much please know they're still there and 
we're, we're here to speak to you guys, I'm sure, have, have, have been there for tons of people. And it's um, it's been nice getting to cook more. I know the other guys can tell you about that. We've all been cooking and, and just kind of spending time. You know, I've been spending time with my wife and my dogs, and we haven't gone out to eat. And I thought that that would be really difficult. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some stuff I'm really missing. But... <laughs> cooking at home and, and kind of relearning that aspect of life has been nice. We've yeah. been scoping out your music online and we would love to hear Coconut Dracula. But first, can you tell us the story beside, behind the song and that title? Yeah, um, me and Chris were half Dominican and our our uncle Ray one time he was saying something in Spanish I can't remember what it was but it sounded like he said coconut Dracula and I said dude I'm like I'm gonna write a song called that and uh, I came up with a story about Count Dracula finding a coconut on the ground he takes a bite and realizes that there's goodness and sweetness and beauty in the world and he doesn't have to go out and kill people or anything like that anymore and suck their blood so he gets his name legally changed from Count Dracula to coconut Dracula and he's roommates with a mummy and the song is from the mummy's point of view because the mummy represents somebody who's dead on the inside and covered in dirty rags and he's asking dracula how can i have what you have how can i be more like you and that relates just personally to me and my faith in christ and what he's done in my life but i've heard so many people tell me you know like dude like I, that song is about my girlfriend or that song's about my hmm. My, 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 my son or daughter or whatever and I think it's so cool how people can relate like our lyrics to so many different aspects of their own life so that's what that's what Coconut Dragon is about mm -hmm. would you mind hey, you, 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 could we hear a little bit absolutely oh yeah disclaimer I have to give a disclaimer I'm not <clears> a guitar <throat> player I'm a uh, but because of this whole pandemic and Eric he's our guitar player he lives in Washington um, because we can't be there together right now I've tried to learn a couple of the songs in my own way on guitar so bear with me here <laughs> oh, yeah sorry it sounds great <laughs> so, so, sorry guys that we couldn't be like together on one, two, one uh, yeah profile so it's what it is so anyways this is coconut Dracula you don't see the world the way that I do your eyes, they no longer search for truth. Cause you found it. I don't feel used when I'm with you. I don't feel abused when I'm with you. Oh no. Oh no. You're not out of love. You only want what's beautiful. You're not out of you're in love with you. You're not out of love. You only want what's beautiful. You're not out of love. You're in love with you. I want to be someone more like you. Someone more like you. Oh, I want to be someone more like you. Dracula. I want my eyes to be like yours. I want to know what to find in my world. Oh, please. Can you tell me? Because I don't feel used when I'm with you. I don't feel abused when I'm with you. Good night, 
Coconut Dracula. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you, I guys. It. I think that's one of my favorite songs. Dude, thank you so very much. <laughs> Especially with the drums and everything, you know, the whole... Yeah, yeah, I like the rock and roll version. <laughs> that's good, it's good. Mm-hmm. I, I love it, I love it. I love both, both versions were great. I love thank it. You. Thank you so much. Uh, we're, hey, we're getting some good feedback on Facebook. Uh, uh, before I get to that, uh, Ford Bradley wants to know, did you forget to pay your Zoom bill? I saw that. I laughed at their comment. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't want to reply to that comment, but, but seriously, here's a question from, from some of the fans. Today is National Superhero Day. They wanted us to ask, who is your superhero? Oh, wow. Ooh. My favorite superhero is Batman. Fun. It's a good choice. Solid. Solid choice. It's prob- probably Batman. So two for Batman. Brothers, you can't both be Batman. (laughs) Well, I'm the little brother, so I guess I'll have to get screwed and be Robin if we're going to (laughs) play. I'm a Spider-Man guy, man. All right, all right. You look like a Spider-Man guy. (laughs) Here's another question. Uh, Sandy Lou asked, how was it like touring with Papa Lou? Dude, it was awesome. Um, it was awful. Those guys are awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those, those, I love those. those we love some, those guys. Those are some of our best friends, dude. We we love those dudes, and we're actually so nice. we're working on a song right now with Jacoby. Um, yeah. So everybody can look for an Islander featuring Jacoby from Papa Roach song in the future. Um, so yeah, we we love those guys. It was a blast. That was um, the second like huge tour i guess we had ever done in our career and it was i'll never forget it, <laughs> it was awesome. yeah. cindy edward edwards misses you and i think while you were singing uh coconut dracula she said it's my number one. Oh, thank oh. You, cindy. she also uh, said yeah. when you said that you um didn't play guitar she said oh stop it you're good <laughs> Yeah, Mikey says that, but he sounds good. I appreciate it. Chief, did you see the comment from Robin Horton? I I might have passed it. It was kind of lengthy. Okay. I'm trying to write it down. Robin Horton says, thank you for going live and supporting us. It means more than you know. I'll be checking out your music. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for for all you do. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, here's another question for you. Um, can you tell us about your musical influences and what's your friendship with Corn like? The friendship with Corn? Yes, and um, about your musical influences. Go ahead, Mikey. Um, as far as musical influences, we're all over the place. Me and Chris, obviously being brothers, and him being the older brother, he fell in love with music way before I did, and he started showing me bands like P.O.D. and Bad Brains, and he showed me uh, Bjork, Depeche Mode, Zayo, um, just all, all kind of music that, I guess, like at the time period, it was still 
coming up it wasn't as popular yet and now it's huge or whatever like uh-huh. Depeche Mode's giant they were giant when he was showing them to me but I feel like now you know with the internet stuff more people have found a lot of things um but Corn, as far as those guys go those they're like family to us um head he he comes over to my house every so often and he okay i'm gonna tell everybody a secret about head if head visit, visits your house secret. yeah if, if head visits your house and needs to take a shower he needs like 50 towels or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he literally he always gets four he wants one to stand on he wants one to dry off with he wants one to wrap his hair in and i guess the other one i don't i don't know what he does with the other one <laughs> he needs way more towels than I have, so there's your little corn tidbit. Does he think you're the Holiday Inn? What the heck? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he loves towels. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I uh, grew up, I, I grew up listening to uh, well, I don't know. I grew up listening to a lot of like '80s '80s stuff, you know, and post 70s i mean like like uh, the end of the 70s and like 80s music and uh just because i was a baby you know during the 80s or like a kid during the 80s and uh so a lot of new wave music that was that's sort of like the thing that i can't escape that i always go back to it so that's like depeche mode and the cure and um and a lot of stuff like that i don't know that's like sort of my my love my love language i guess as far as music goes and um, yeah, bands like that. And then bands, then I really got into uh, Bjork and a lot of bands like that. And I got into a lot of heavy bands. And then, of course, I went through, you know, the 90s. I found, you know, Deftones and, um, and I don't know, then the, then it escalated and just got heavier and heavier. And then now I'm back to, uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm just into like pop music now. So, <laughs> and, I, and I love country too. What about you, Eric? Me, I don't know. I've always kind of, I've never really had a favorite. I've always just kind of floated around. Like, when I was a little, little kid, Shania Twain was my jam. She still is. She probably <laughs> will be, to be honest. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know. <laughs> I mean, Linkin Park was really big when I was a kid. I was really into them. But I eventually went into, like, harder stuff, like uh, August Burns Red, I guess, and, you know, earlier Deftones. When I joined the band, Mikey and Chris actually kind of reintroduced me to a backlog of stuff that I missed because I'm 26 and they're, I don't know, they're, they're a lot older than me, they're like 60 something. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, they showed me the good stuff, so to speak, and I've kind of been backtracking, but, uh. We're very you know. proud of you, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, you have a, uh, a unique style. Can you tell us about your face paint and the story behind it? Yeah, um, so I'm really influenced by professional wrestling, like pro wrestling, like WWE kind of stuff. <laughs> and I don't know if any of you have ever watched wrestling or know who Sting is, but um, the wrestler Sting, he, I grew up being a huge fan of his. He, he wears face paint stuff and I was like dude he just looks so cool like when I was a kid and even now I just think it looks so cool and I started noticing I was always gravitating towards wrestlers and artists that wore face paint even like I never got into like Kiss or whatever but I always thought it was so fun like what they were doing and I was like it's more it more comes from wrestling for me and by the way I've become like really good friends with Sting now which is like <laughs> true and true for me so that's that's really weird like being friends with somebody like this so he taught me how to paint my face and what paint to use and and um what where to get my brushes and all that kind of stuff so it's something i do now just because i thought it would be so cool to be a wrestler and wear face paint but i'm not a wrestler so why not just do that in the band so that's why i started wearing face paint Love that. That's really cool. And you guys are friends now. That's adorable, actually. That's really cute. He's so Thanks. nice. <laughs> yeah. I love Sting. That was your favorite wrestler. Are there any others that you like? Oh, yeah. I love 
Like, if I had to pick, like, as far as characters go, it's Sting, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, Macho Man Randy Savage. Those, those four, <laughs> to me, are just hilarious. And then I love the Ultimate Warrior, um, The Rock. Undertaker? Undertaker. I love The Undertaker. Yeah, man. <laughs> all, 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 all of the, the outlandish characters, that's the best one. So awesome. Yeah. <laughs> out there and crazy. <laughs> Eric, what you know about wrestling? I don't think he knows. You know about wrestling, Eric? Oh, yeah, dude. I, um, my favorite was uh, Rey Mysterio growing oh, up, dude. Uh, yeah, I love Rey. That little guy's a monster, <laughs> dude. Tiny. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, so, so we'd love to hear more, uh, Mikey, more music. Can you tell us about Cold Speak? Uh, and if yeah. possible, you mind playing that for us? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Cold Speak is a song. There's this book that I really like called Blue Like Jazz. And in the book, the author, Donald Miller, he says that he noticed that it was a flaw of his and it's something I struggle with. He said that sometimes if he was in a debate or just a conversation with a friend, he was waiting for them to stop speaking so that he could tell them basically why they were wrong. And he noticed that he wasn't really listening to them because of that, he wasn't taking in what their heart was saying. So I wrote a song called Cold Speak saying, you know, don't let the cold speak basically be meaning, you know, listen instead of even thinking about talking, just just listen and learn. Even if you disagree with someone, knowing their heart, you're gonna be able to communicate so much better with them in love. So that's what this song's about. I keep drinking ginger ale, so if I burp during it, please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, here's this one. Um, Sometimes you let your tongue and heart get the best of you. And me, I'm not trying to be cool, but that's just what we do. You know that it's true. You let the cold speak when you're talking to me. Don't let the cold speak when you're talking to me. Say what you mean, but always know. Say what you mean, but always know. Don't let the cold speak to be the most beautiful song that I've ever heard. Gotta make the nose Now it is fine, my heart They draw me around you Let the cold speak When you're talking to me Don't let the cold speak When you're talking to me Say what you mean You always know Say what you Always love. Don't let the cold speak when you're talking to me. Don't let the cold speak. Your mouth is an open grave, but your heart overflows with death. I don't need to see straight through you just to know what's inside. Because to change the foot, you gotta change the room. Say what you mean, but always love. Say what you mean, but always love. Don't let the cold speak when you're talking to me. Don't let the cold speak. cold speak that was awesome <laughs> thank you so much that was great yeah i agree totally awesome you're um you're getting a lot of feedback on facebook about that song um and all of your music really so everybody loves it thank you guys oh. so very much man i can't thank you enough for being here 
It it looks like Cindy Edwards. Uh, I guess she knows you guys. Um, she says that you have saved her life, um, and she loves cold speak, bad guy, darkness, my friends. I want sushi, all of it, even some of the stuff not yet released. Oh wow! Mm. Yeah, she, we've met Cindy several times on the road. We we know who she is, and um, she she's always bringing us like these chocolate pretzels and oh, stuff. Man. And, uh, those white ones. Oh yeah. my gosh, those she, are so good. She's a sweetheart. We, we love her, and um, yeah, she's been impacted by our music, and her story of being impacted by our music mm -hmm. has influenced us, and honestly, it's part of the reason we're still doing this, so people like Cindy. Love you, Cindy. Yeah. Miss you. Aww. Oh, that's really sweet. I'm just looking because. now. Um, Dylan says, love the band, great music. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. And Rinda says, thanks for supporting the troops and families during this time. Thanks for bringing some joy to so many. Oh, dude, thank you guys for supporting the world all the time. I mean, it's, yeah. you, you yep. guys, I'm, I'm here to thank you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Oprah. Thank you. Guess what time it is. Guess what time it is? Who can tell me what time it is? Mike, you know what Is it slime time? time? Is it slime time? <laughs> it's slime time. Mikey, what you got? All right, hold on. What you got? Run, Mikey. Run. The crowd's probably like, what are you guys talking about? What, what are you talking about right yeah. now? <laughs> Let's see. It's, do they really run? They really run? I think he really is running. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Uh, I, grabbed, I grabbed the first thing I saw, and this kind of goes full circle with what we were talking about earlier. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Batman! So what we do is I go, slime time, it's slime time, it's the prime time to get slime. It's slime time, it's slime time to get slime. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! I'm glad that you guys know what slime time is. And for those don't, that don't know, when we go live, we're always slime and action figures, and we call it slime time because we feel like it's something different. And I, I doubt that you'll ever find a, another band on the internet slime and action figures. This is the first one. Yeah, not very like. I collect action figures, by the way. That's why I have an abundance of. <laughs> that is awesome and then we're going to follow up slime time with something else that I don't know who who wouldn't love this but I think it's puppy time it's time oh. to pet the puppy pet, time to pet the puppy is it time to pet the puppy so for everyone out there on Facebook world, <laughs> if you want to post a picture of your puppy put it in the comments yeah oh my Those gosh oh. look who is that <laughs> We always tell everybody put their hand emojis in the comments to pet the puppy. Yeah, put them up. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, look yeah. at it. I'm growing, pla I'm growing plants. I'm a puppy eater, it's okay. Those are cute. Oh, what are their names? So this is Cooper. Cooper? Cooper? This is, this is Charlie. Charlie. He's an old man. He's all grumpy. Um, I have another. I have another one. But my wife took him for a walk because he's insane. If we were doing this when he was here, he just goes crazy. His name's Lucas. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie, The Wizard, but it's the one with Fred Savage and the kid has the power glove. And he says, "I love the power glove. It's so bad," but. Yeah, we named him after that kid because his name was Lucas in the movie. So yeah, it's an old, it's an old like '80s Nintendo video game movie. It's it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so Eric, real quick, I heard um, I heard you got like a Krispy Kreme factory at your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I love to cook, and you know, ever since this whole quarantine thing, I've just been finding anything that I can just make at home. So I just YouTube for like 
eight hours straight just trying to find something cool to cook, and uh, I've been making a lot of donuts recently. Uh, I made uh, like regular yeast donuts first, and we glazed those. And then we made uh, chocolate donuts with chocolate glaze stuffed with uh, chocolate cookies. Oh my gosh, dude. I wish I had some more left to show you guys, but they, they are gone. They're all they, they, y'all, they look, they look amazing. <laughs> I gained weight just looking at them. Oh yeah, they were. They were <clears throat> Hey, Eric, you look pretty thin, so you must be, like, working out after you do all these donuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I work out every day or else I'd probably go crazy from being so bored at home. <laughs> what, what are you doing for your workout during this quarantine? What are, are all of you working out or just studying? What are you guys doing during the quarantine? Watching Netflix? I walk. I, I, I'm, I'm eating way too much, and I'm also, but I, I walk. I, I walk around my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I do yard work, and I started a couple of gardens, and uh, yeah, we, and we've been cleaning the house, and just stuff like that, but we, I feel like we cook and eat more than anything. Yeah. A lot, yeah. Chris, you, you're, oh, there's my new video left for a second. I walked yeah. this guy a ton. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, I, I've been playing video games. Um, Plenty of those too, yeah. Writing, <laughs> writing some songs, reading cooking constantly um doing a lot of stuff like this like just you know jumping on here and trying to to encourage people and have them also also in turn encourage me so that's, that's kind of what i've been focusing on how are how are y'all staying inspired musically during quarantine oh man i um, i've been I, I, I track music constantly. I mean, some of it I just, I, I'll track things on GarageBand and literally never revisit them, but I just do it just to, uh, I don't know. I'm constantly tinker, constantly tinkering with ideas. Yeah. Yeah. And that's and, and what I do. going on in the world. I mean, as an artist, I know that I can speak for all three of us when I say that that's how we get out our feelings and our emotions. So I think that, I think just doing that. You, is your dog barking? Yeah, he heard. Yeah, he started booping <laughs> he and he ran off. He went, boop, boop, yeah. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, it, as far as inspiration, though, like, just thinking about everyday life. I mean, it, I'm not sitting here purposely writing songs at all about the quarantine and trying to bank off of this pandemic, but I, I definitely would say that, you know, just, I guess, being in the headspace of reading, reading always kind of inspires me to look outside in, in, in a different perspective so it could be a fantasy book or the other day I was influenced by something I was reading about Peter Pan like the character that played the Peter Pan in the movie uh, the original Disney movie I read the story and it was kind of sad but it, it inspired me to kind of start writing some lyrics about him so always different stuff like that so really quick what if what have you been listening to during the pandemic? What's on your playlist? Yeah, I've been listening to our new single. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, been, I've been trying to master the verses because I did them in the studio, but I need to master the verses because we covered REM's uh, It's the End of the World as We Know It, and I Feel Fine. And by the way, anybody listening, it's on Spotify and Apple Music, and YouTube, all that stuff. But we're giving the proceeds to um, uh, charity in New York City in my aunt that I was saying that passed away we're giving the, the proceeds in her name to the NYC low income artist and freelancer relief fund yeah. because we want to support the community in New York City that was her her family and her community because she loved New York City so much we just wanted to do something special in her name to also help with what's going on in the world so that's, yeah. that's one thing I've been listening to i guess a lot because i've been trying to learn that how about you chris what you've been listening to um what have i been listening to uh i don't know what have I, I don't think i've been listening to any music i've been just making music <laughs> uh just things on my own um i mean i've been listening to the to that single and i've been listening to some oh. of the demos to some of our demos and by the way we have like what we have 50 to 60 61 demos. Six, 61, 61 songs. That, <laughs> like, so, so people are always asking us about new music, you know, and we're like, well, um, as soon as we can get all the, the legalities out, out of the way, you know, and, 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 
and get the proper like for the the, the certain like guest artists we want on the songs like once we get that stuff out of the way and the label green lights every green light green lights everything can't talk today um it's like i'm talking and is it, is it auto correct is on but uh <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we have like so many singles so i listen to those sometimes still just thinking think about which ones are going to be released so but yeah i don't know i just listen to a lot of old stuff old country old old pop old old rock and stuff like that I can't think of anything new I've really tapped into lately. Us, us being South Carolina boys, I think that the country is just in our blood because it sounds like home. So, <laughs> yeah. And what I, about you, Eric? So, yeah. Um, certainly not listening to much country. It's not really my uh, forte, but uh. Oh. I've been listening to like a lot of slower stuff like uh, Joji and uh, some of the weekends new stuff in 83 just like relaxing stuff because I don't know I'm not really into anything high energy right now because there's no energy to go around you know <laughs> yeah I, I I have a roommate so uh his favorite band is Green Day, so uh, Billy Joe has been releasing a lot of covers. Like every week, he's releasing new music. Yeah, Billy Joe great. from Green Day, and so I'm hearing all of that, and some of it's pretty <laughs> cool. So, yeah, that's awesome. So you guys have talked a lot about your uh, new single, but for everybody watching, which of your songs should go on their COVID nineteen playlist, and why? Definitely, definitely our cover. I'm not just trying to push it right now. Yeah. That. I think that that song in general is just, it's, it's kind of the anthem of this this time period. I, I, I yeah. know that No Doubt covered it back with the, the Y2K thing on MTV, but Y2K, you know, it wasn't real. And this is real. And I feel like now it's got, it has even more weight to it. Um, so I would definitely say that song, which is it's cool for us, too, because we had to get permission. Like, after we recorded it, we sent it to REM, asked them if we yeah. could release it. And REM said, yeah, you can release it. So they approved it. And not only that, they shared it. They tweeted it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You know, we, didn't them, we didn't ask them to do any of that. Like, when they did that, I was like, this is amazing. And like, yeah. Uh, like <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, um, man, we... we Honestly, the whole, the, I was going to say the whole, the whole, um, man, all of the music has to do with hope, having hope in dark times. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what we write. Like, it's kind of like, I don't know, everyone had, like a lot of bands have themes, but I, I'm, I started thinking about every song. Every song is sort of in a different way. It's about, you know, it's about finding hope and yeah, it's. I don't know, but yeah, go ahead. New wave, new wave would definitely be one, yeah, because um, it's kind of about all that. And then uh, I, I, I think, like what you I, just said, our, our both of our entire albums, the catalog is just about hope. I feel like it would just give people hope, you know, hearing some of those things. Better day, yeah, that's a good one. Well, better day, um, cold speak, because people. It's funny how there's so much information and so much misinformation flying around right now. You know, people don't know. A lot of people, I mean, you know, if they're like, honestly, a lot of Americans don't know who to trust, you know, and uh, all they know is what they're being told. But I mean, you know, we, that's all we know. That's all anyone knows. And so we just, it's like, when you stay at home, you don't stay at home. It's just like washing your hands. Um, I mean, this might sound bad, but I think when people wash their hands, you know, you wash your hands a lot of times for your for other people you know you stay at home for other people you're doing this to protect other people you know you don't want to be selfish um but forgot where i was going with that but <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound bad yeah. <laughs> it had to do with the music yeah be considerate, be considerate of others. Yeah. yeah exactly hey so so as you know you know we have a lot of airmen soldiers sailors marines coasties and military families watching what words of inspiration do you have for all of our heroes battling on the front line against COVID-19? I just, I personally just want to say that 
you can't really I can't personally find the words to thank you guys enough and the the way that I can relate because I don't you know whether it's war or whatever or whatever some people think about the, the military or this and that regardless of what you think there is integrity in the men and women in the military and I can't thank you guys enough for that integrity and that passion to serve and sacrificing your lives in that way for us on the daily. And our, me and Chris, our grandfather was in World War II. He stormed the beaches in Normandy. And I can't imagine not only his, what his sacrifice was. I mean, it, it brings me, I'm trying to think of how to put this into words, guys, because I, I, I want to say thank you more than the word thank you lets me. Yeah. <laughs> that's the truth, and I think that's the best way I can say it. More than the word thank you that lets me, I want to say thank you to every single person that is giving up themselves on the daily so that we can have freedoms. And just thank you, guys, more than the word means. And, you're, and, and, and they're working for like they're out there working these jobs and you know and they're in the military and they're doing things for the people that appreciate them but then you know there's so many different outlooks there's so many different views on, on like political views and on the world just in general and they're they're still having to sacrifice themselves for those people's freedoms you know yeah. for all freedoms it's selfless. crazy yeah. yeah it's a very selfless and uh just a beautiful cause and again I just the integrity that you guys have is, is remarkable thank you so much thank you guys so with the Army and Air Force Exchange Service Leah and I were we're civilians uh, with the exchange and right now the exchange is considered mission essential during the pandemic so our stores and our restaurants are open all over the world to take care of military communities do you have any words of hope for our 33,000 associates around the world who are serving during these challenging times? Well, speaking of restaurants, let me say this. <laughs> I used to, <laughs> before I got into music, I was working at restaurants. That's kind of, that was always the job I was doing. I was always a server, bartender, all that kind of stuff. And I just want to say thank you to you guys more than the word means to <laughs> I know that I know working in restaurants yeah. is really difficult yeah. and you guys you guys have a lot of people to serve in a, in a different way that's that's not maybe what some people would consider on the front lines but hey everybody gets hungry everybody needs clothing everybody needs all that stuff and you guys are just as important don't ever let anybody tell you you're not and thank you for feeding feeding our troops feeding feeding the families thank you for to you guys for the product to promote the people that are doing this that is that's i'm serious i, I can't say thank you enough i wish there was a word that was like thank you plus plus <laughs> 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 thank you that's uh, i think our team will will appreciate those words from you thank you so much absolutely we love you guys oh back at you y'all are so sweet <laughs> the rockers with heart i know yeah <laughs> <laughs> one time one time we were on tour with uh corn and stone sour and uh baby metal and yellow Bull, and we got to this venue and in the back of the the, the amphitheater there was this organization there that was uh, promoting donating, I mean donating, promoting adopting puppies. And oh. they had all these puppies and we're all backstage and our hearts are just melting. And then we're <laughs> expected to go on stage and put on this rock show. I was like, they're like killing our mojo. Over yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> Making us all mushy, man. Yeah. <laughs> we were backstage, we were backstage on um, holding and petting puppies, puppies with, uh, yep. <laughs> with Corey with, with, with Corey Taylor yeah. <laughs> from <laughs> so one last time uh, I'm gonna take a look at the comments and we have someone I believe her name is Macon Diedrich 
She says, hello, Mrs. Carvajal. Oh. <laughs> She's not in here right now. <laughs> oh, my. Our mom might be watching us with that. And also, oh. Make, I, we, I know Macon. We know Macon. What's up, Macon? Love you. What's up, Macon? She says, both of their albums are awesome in their entirety. Plus, watch them live. Acoustic songs are so cool. Oh, thank <laughs> you so much. You guys I have been that getting. Mom is watching. I think that's awesome. I hope. I mean, hi if you're watching. <laughs> you're very nice young, but you're very nice boys. This is Carla Hall. Very nice boys. It's my mom. She's not watching. I'm outside my mom. <laughs> <laughs> if she, Who is? If she is. Her name. Her, her name's Janet. Janet Carla Hall. Janet. Well, no. Janet Taylor. Taylor. Oh, Taylor there. says oh, hi. She, she is yeah. watching. Yeah. <laughs> mama Carla Hall. Thank you for your service. Good awesome. job, Mom. You raised some good kids. They're nice boys. <laughs> so we do. We have We're Janet and. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, here we go. Oh, Take it it pushy again. We're bad. We're bad boys. I'm gonna go burn yeah. something down. I'm gonna go burn something down when I get off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> after after I make a sandwich. Yeah. Aw. She says, I'm a proud mom, and Taylor says, best mother-in-law ever. Oh. <laughs> That's really mother. sweet. Hey, so, what, what have you guys, before, we always ask people, I know you watch, you probably watch Netflix. What shows are you watching on Netflix? <laughs> I've been watching Married at First Sight. Really? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, check this out. That one. <laughs> there's, there's this girl on there. I haven't told my brother this. I wasn't going to. But there, there's this girl on there named Iris. I don't want to give away the ending to anybody, but I got to now. because I, I. No, can't. don't give it away. Don't give it away. You can't. Don't do it. You can't. <laughs> People will get mad at you. What are they going to do? Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Okay, spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. Well, no, everyone's going to leave. No, 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 just, just close your ears. Anyway. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> There's this girl named Iris on the show. She doesn't get with her husband because he doesn't. Anyways, you have to watch it. I'm not going to give it all away. But I messaged, I think that she would be so good with my brother that I messaged her on, on Instagram and I told her that I need to introduce her to my brother. I sent her a picture of, her, of him to her. <laughs> Where'd you go, Chris? <laughs> Alright, you good? Did you did you finish the story? Yeah, I did. I like how he doesn't know what I was saying. Yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> there did might be like another Carvajal? future Mrs. Carvajal. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. I have no clue what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Check I, your Instagram. No. Yeah. Yeah. Not, Check I'm your not, DMs, man. I would I would I would never I would never brag, but Love is Blind. I watched that. On, I watched that entire season. I watched that like, one. That was that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh man, these people meet each other and then they fall in love just from hearing their voices and stuff. It's so. Bad. They're but setting it's, it's up in the future, man. <laughs> that's what. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Being conditioned, man. Being yeah. conditioned. I've just been watching The Office on repeat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 always. That's a good one. The yeah. circle, the circle's good too. Yes, oh. that is so so good. I that's, love this. That's really really good, really what's addictive. The what's the circle? It's addictive, but is it really good? It's yeah, really good. good. <laughs> <laughs> it, the circle is a show about these people that are put inside of uh, all these separate rooms, and they have basically they, they have basically a Facebook type of way that they can interact with one another, but. They can lie to each other about who they are, or they can be honest, but they have to vote each other off the show. It's kind of like Survivor through Facebook. Yeah. And the and, and all and, and, and the ones the ones that like the select few that actually couple up, they move on through the show and eventually are standing at the altar and still have to decide, am I going to? Oh, do that's this a or different show. That's Love Is Blind, this right? Love, this this is Love Is Blind. Oh, you're my circle. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm I'm putting them all together. They're all the same. <laughs> and then and then they sing a, and then they and then they sing a song. They hope that um 
that Christina Aguilera will turn around and pick you up. <laughs> oh, right? Be Our Chef on uh, <laughs> Disney Plus, Be Our Chef. It's a show where these families compete to be, to, to try to be like Disney World cooks themselves and like make dishes that look like Mickey and stuff. It's, yeah. Oh, wow. That's, cool. That's a good one. Yeah. I should watch that one. So you're watching Disney Plus? I love yeah. Disney. Every day. Oh. We, so we have a comment on Facebook, Mikey the Matchmaker. <laughs> yeah. I have no clue what you guys are talking about still. Have your wife, Chris. Go find out, Chris. Oh, you got me you got me one? I found one. You want you got me one. You you ordered her? <laughs> <laughs> Your big brother says that's a rookie move. <laughs> Can you guys see Cooper's ears just popping up here? Yes. Like yes. little Yoda. <laughs> Are you doing that or is he doing that? That's him. Sweet buddy. Crazy little guy. He keeps bringing me toys. I got a pile of toy toys around me. <clears throat> this song right here is called Wait For It. <laughs> All right, man. This song, um, this song, just so for anybody that doesn't know, it's um, it's off of our record "Power Under Control," and that album is a concept album that we wrote. And the first song is called "Darkness," and I play the character of somebody who is just trapped within their own desires. And then through the album, that character slowly turns to the light. And this is that same character that's no longer in darkness giving their message to somebody else that's in darkness. So it's kind of like a circle. The circle. So it goes like this. Turn your eyes my way Oh, slow I can't let go your name Written in the book of death Say what you need to no. Don't try to be proud. You want to be free. Yeah, you want eternity. I see shadows. I can feel it. I can feel it. When the sun rises in the morning, I feel a shock wave through you. Wait for it. And say, Do you feel the sun? Lazy and cold? Are you scared of what you're finding? The reasons that you're dying are the same. Oh, you're getting weaker. Should be warning the stars. It's not funny, we could die. Wash your hands clean. Kiss me or I will. Goodbye. so much thank you so much we appreciate it hey before before we go first off you know uh, um, our condolences go out to you and your family for the loss of your aunt so uh, um, sorry about that and, uh, 
we um we greatly appreciate you coming on here so with that i'm gonna give you some time to plug whatever it is you want to plug your new album i know you donated some of your proceeds to a charity out in new york city uh if you want to mention that anything any any instagram handles facebook handles anything you want to share with 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 the crowd this is your moment um follow us on instagram all social media you can find us on instagram at islander um twitter uh <coughs> facebook um man like we're, we're on everything just you can google us you can google pictures of chris eric and me if you want um but um the main thing that we're we're pushing right now as far as the band goes is again we covered rem since the end of the world as we know it not fine and we want people to send in videos to us letting us know just like a short 15 second clip of what is making them feel fine in times like this and we're going to put all the videos together so it could be your dog your family uh, a book you've been reading popcorn whatever just let us know what's making you feel fine and we're going to put those videos on our social media and we want to share them and encourage other people to, to think about what it is that's good in the world so yeah that song is on spotify apple music itunes uh youtube youtube Deezer, everything it everything it's buy it buy, buy it or stream it just remember those proceeds are going to a really good cause yeah the nyc yeah. Low, uh nyc low income for artists and freelancer relief fund uh in our hands name the guy from yeah. our and then we have then we have then we have a new T-shirt that we just put up too, where yep. we're giving the, half of those proceeds, a yep. portion of those proceeds to, uh, which, yeah, we're yeah. giving that to Music Cares. It's, yeah, it's, it's part of the Grammy, Grammy, the Grammy Museum or whatever. But it's uh, yeah. we're we're giving a portion of the proceeds from that to Music Cares that they go out and support all these other artists that are at home right now without work because you know we can't tour right now and that's how we make an income so it's been mm -hmm. difficult and um also i just want to say if you haven't checked out exchange for some reason if there's somebody on here that hasn't checked that out please by all means look at what these people are doing look at the helpers like mr rogers said these people are helping they're loving people they're out there supporting those that don't like them and the ones that do and that means the world to us and we want to say thank you so much for letting us be on here and taking a moment just to let us talk to you guys today because you guys are awesome yep so that's all i got <laughs> eric chris anything you want to say i think mikey covered it all yeah, mikey like, pretty much covered that's, it. yeah like I, 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 I agree with everything we really appreciate you guys yeah I, Thank you for having us. This is amazing. Yeah, this is awesome. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. We, we appreciate you taking some time out of your day to hang out with the military family. We greatly appreciate it. I know the troops do. I know the associates do. And I know personally I do. Julie and Leah do. So thank you, thank you, thank you yeah. so much. I wish you the most success out there. Once this pandemic is over, I'm sure you're going to hit the road hard. You're going to be touring hard, and you have a lot yeah. of fans on this Absolutely. We're going to be you. all over the place as soon as this is over. So, What's your tour, yeah, schedule? Like? Let's ask yeah. What's your tour schedule look like once this is up? Where do you plan on being if you have a, a rough time frame or estimate? What does it look like? We don't know yet because, we, okay, we had a tour that was, wasn't even announced before it got canceled. We were going on tour with uh, Hollywood and Dead and Papa Roach. And that, that got the old loop because, you know, everything going on. So right now we've held off on booking anything because we don't know we don't want to announce something and get people excited and or even ourselves excited and yeah. <laughs> right oh, now that real, baby. what was Lindsay what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was some old lady <laughs> sorry um, so anyways we right now we're focusing on writing are not right well we've written it but we're focusing on finishing our new album so everybody can look for us to put out music when this thing is either done or if it keeps going we're going to put music out and to keep you guys company so well stay tuned i think uh i think chris said there's 61 songs on deck just wait yep. <laughs> yeah, <that's it>. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there are we, we've got a whole we've got a whole like four albums waiting we've been busy <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um also you guys uh 
please send us an email and let us know how you're doing this and streaming it to Facebook because we need to know how to do this <laughs> on, through Zoom. This is awesome. Yeah. He is our tech master, aren't you, Leah? <laughs> I don't want to say I'm the master because we cut off a few times today, but. <laughs> Show us the way. Show me the way. Show us yeah, the way. I can definitely help you guys out with that. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. When y'all are back on the road, come see us in Dallas, Fort Worth. We'd love to meet you in person. Hey, we we love, Dallas, yeah, love Dallas is one of my favorite spots to come because yeah. that's where Sting lives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's where we I think we all fix us out for pancakes or sushi, so yeah. you guys will have to come with us. <laughs> yeah, right. It sounds good. I can't yeah. wait. I'll be good. Yep. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I, I I miss everyone in Texas. I, I I actually lived in Texas for about two years. I I, I lived in a little place called Alvin, Texas. Oh. I lived Alvin. there for a couple of years. So is First that year. is that in the Houston that area? Is, that's about yes, yeah, the Houston, the greater Houston. Area. What yeah, a bunch of puckies, It's Dad. it's well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's so great. Yeah. Oh, man. All they need is Shipley, a little Shipley, boat. Shipley, Shipley. Little, yeah, Shipley's too. All they need is a little boat dark ride with like Disney World and Bucky's will be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little audio animatronic dark ride. You guys, I miss I miss Kalachi so bad. Oh, yeah. So good. Uh, well, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Leah, Judy, you got anything le left to say? Because we're going to cut out here. Yeah, you thank you. We appreciate good. you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. You guys have been so much fun. Thank you. <sighs> thank you. Thank you again for having us. We love you guys, and we'll have to do it again sometime. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah.